I'm at the Volkswagen assembly plant here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where VW has just taken the wraps off the all new 2020 Atlas Cross Sport. Now this is designed to be a two row, smaller and sleeker version of the very successful Atlas three row family crossover. Let's take a first look. Volkswagen first gave us a taste of the Atlas Cross Sport concept back in New York about last year. And to be honest, when I first saw that car, it was a stunning looking concept car. So you can see for the full production version, Volkswagen has definitely tamed a couple things down, but it stays true to that gorgeous concept for the most part. It does have very unique styling cues compared to the Atlas. Remember, this is gonna compete with cars like the Honda Passport, the Ford Edge, and the Jeep Grand Cherokee. As you can see, this particular one here is the SEL Premium R-Line. It does come standard with Volkswagen's full LED headlights. They are a slightly different design. And the grille is also the corporate Volkswagen grille with the chrome. If you guys aren't a fan of gigantic chrome grills, you're really gonna like what Volkswagen is doing because it's a very tasteful, uh, elegant, almost Audi-like styling detail. Now, over here, you can see it has, looks like incandescent turn signals and then this particular R line here has these really nice black painted air intake dams which are looks like some of the vents are actually not functional but there is a functional one here that supposedly will cool uh, help cool the brakes create an air skirt overall in this white color I think this is a very attractive looking SUV kind of like uh, attractive in the way that the Chevy Blazer is but in its own more Volkswagen uh, sense now underneath the hood the Atlas Cross Sport will launch with two engines uh, a 3.6 liter VR6 with 276 horsepower and a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with about 235 horsepower. It will be available with either four, uh, front wheel drive or the company's four motion all wheel drive. The four cylinder will also be available with all wheel drive. So it's marked as the first time that we can get the four cylinder with all wheel drive An eight speed automatic will be coming standard. Now looking at the rest of the profile of the cross sport, you can see Volkswagen preserved the 117 inch long wheelbase of the regular Atlas, which in turn gave them a lot more interior space in the competition. Uh, in relation to the Atlas three row, this is about 2.8 inches shorter and about 2.3 inches lower. So remember they wanted to give this a lower and wider look compared to the family version. Now over here you can see 21 inch wheels are included with the R-Line package. These are wrapped in 265 series tires. So VW, VW didn't skimp on the wheels and tires. This is a very nice looking uh, package, especially when you have it with the white, with the black exterior accents with the R-Line package. Now of course Volkswagen wanted this to look a little bit different. So when you come to the rear of the vehicle, it has kind of that sloping coupe-like roof line to give this thing kind of like a BMW X6 uh, X4 kind of look. I think it actually really works on this car. You have slightly unique uh, taillights. Let me close this really quick and show you guys the actual look. The taillights, as you can see, are also like an LED combination. They do look different versus the three-row Atlas. Uh, one thing I like about the Crossport is it looks like it has unique styling elements compared to something like the Honda Passport, which just looks like a shrunken version uh, of the Pilot. Now underneath here, you can see there are some phony exhaust tips down here, which I'm not really a fan of, but at least Volkswagen did kind of outline it in chrome. There is a tow hitch. This vehicle will tow up to 5,000 pounds, Volkswagen says. And overall, let me know in the comments below what you think. But let's open up the cargo area because I do want to show you guys what that's like. Now, because this vehicle is about 2.3 inches or 2.8 inches shorter, it did shrink the cargo capacity a little bit, but as you can see, this two row configuration is standard. You still get around 40.4 cubic feet of space, which is honestly a lot. And if you fold down the second row, Volkswagen says you get around 78 cubic feet of space. Now hopping into the interior of the 2020 Atlas Crossport. Now, if you guys are familiar with the interior of the regular Atlas, this is gonna look pretty familiar. Um, the only thing, that I'm seeing that's really different is the steering wheel. This steering wheel kind of looks like the new steering wheel that they showed on the ID3, uh, uh, their new electric vehicle. It actually is a nice looking steering wheel design. It's got the new Volkswagen emblem. So of course, Volkswagen just introduced kind of a slimmer emblem. It looks good. I also like the way the wheel is a flat bottom design. This one here is the R-Line package. This SEL premium trim that I'm showing you also has the two-tone interior with the beige, um, the leatherette material, the dashboard, it looks identical. You have the same 8.8-inch uh, uh, digital cockpit display with their Carnet infotainment system. You have a 12-inch digital display here on this SEL Premium. The overall layout here is pretty similar. You have you know, the shifter here for the 8-speed automatic. Volkswagen says that they have basically included all the tech in here. So you've got wireless CarPlay, uh, I'm sorry, you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have wireless phone charging, you have their full suite of safety tech features. And really the interior of this car is where they focused a lot in terms of storage, in terms of space. It feels roomy here. It almost feels like I'm sitting in the regular Atlas. So if you guys are looking for a feeling of space, this is definitely going to uh, fit the bill. But let's hop into the back seat really quick and see how much space they've been able to preserve for this smaller version. Now hopping into the second row, 
just like most of the competition in this uh, segment, VW was able to preserve a lot of the space because the wheelbase is the same as the Atlas. VW says there's around 40 inches of legroom back here, which is huge. That's actually about two inches more than what you're gonna get in the new Honda Passport or the Ford Edge or the Jeep Grand Cherokee. The floor is almost completely flat back here. You have two USB ports, you have uh, heated rear seats, three levels, and then there's also like an armrest that folds down and gives you two cup holders. And then of course, this particular one has a gigantic panoramic sun sunroof, lets it all out a lot of light into this cabin. So overall, if you guys are looking for a big, you know, two row family vehicle, you don't need the third row vehicle. This is definitely going to uh, fit the bill. Now Volkswagen says this new Atlas Cross Sport will be going on sale in the spring of 2020, and it will be built right here at their Chattanooga uh, assembly plant here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now Volkswagen didn't have final pricing yet for this vehicle, but they said they will announce that as it gets closer to the on-sale date. You should expect it to start in the $30,000 range. I expect it to be a little bit less than the three-row Atlas. For Redline Reviews here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I'm Sophie on Bay.